So it's great to be here at the launch of Rav Garcher's new store in Portsmouth. It's a fantastic store. Uh, it's got a lot of the things we see in modern convenience stores, doors on chillers, uh, food to go off, uh, great fits out throughout, really great range. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be a massive success. Um, we wanted to get the MP along for the launch, uh, Penny Mordens, who uh, we know as a government minister and also a local MP here uh, in Portsmouth North, uh, to show her the investment that Rav and his family are making in this community. So let's see how we got on. So I'm here in uh, Copner in Portsmouth this morning in my constituency. Uh, very excited because a new convenience store is opening today at noon. Um, this is the 43rd convenience store uh, in my patch. Um, I'm delighted that uh, a new one is opening. Um, they're really, really important, not just uh, obviously to go and uh, pick up some shopping, but they're really important for having resilient communities. Um, we've got a, a quite a high elderly population in Portsmouth. Um, it's great that uh, people don't have to travel very far if they're doing top-up shopping uh, or their weekly shop um, and they're not paying uh, over the odds for, for goods in, in local shops. Um, so this is absolutely fantastic. This one's a little bit different. It's going to have a subway in it as well. So uh, people can come in and do some shopping, uh, meet up with friends, have a coffee uh, or have some lunch. Um, and that's uh, really reflective of a trend in uh, our high streets that people are uh, viewing them as much more of a, a social hub uh, than just a place to go and shop. I am Rav and uh, I'm presenting our latest store in the family in Portsmouth. This is the latest nicer uh, store of the future too. Uh, we uh, acquired the site uh, uh, late last year and uh, we've opened it and we've, as you've just seen we've had uh, Penny Morden come in and to talk to us and um, unveil the store with a ribbon cutting. Uh, we talked to Penny about uh, a number of issues that we've had since we acquired the site and she's gone away with, with uh, a few action points that we're really looking forward to seeing the outcomes for. Um, but other than that, it was really refreshing to see um, a good conversation with her. And I recommend every retailer to get your uh, local MP to come in uh, and just talk to them. And um, there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, they're just normal people. <laughs> It's been great to meet the team who uh, are busy stocking the shelves, uh, ready for this place to open in the next uh, couple of hours. So congratulations to all of them and I look forward to working with them. You can't expect an MP to know what it's like to run a convenience store unless you tell them and unless you show them. So if you're doing a refit, if you're opening a new store or just any time that you want to talk to your MP, get them along and explain what it's like running a convenience store, the issues you're facing, uh, the challenges, but also what you bring to the community, the people you employ, the work you're doing with, with local charities, other retailers, uh, local schools, whatever else it might be, share that information because without telling them, they won't know. And if we all tell that story, it makes for a really, really powerful message uh, to government at the national level, as well as helping you locally. So my message to you is, get your MP into your store.